technical video of how a two-way circuit works when the power is looped at the switch. If you want to see a similar video of me drawing uh, a wiring diagram of this setup, uh, you can click this video above. Uh, if you don't know the difference between looping at the light and looping at the switch, you can also watch my other video called How Is Your House Wired? And hopefully this setup will make a lot more sense after watching that, the differences between looping at the light and looping at the switch. To get started, this RCBO here is to simulate the one fan in your switchboard. This just isolates the entire circuit. I've got two switches because you actually need physically two switches to be able to create a two-way circuit. I've also got a baton holder and globe obviously and the internet interconnecting cables for the rest of the circuit. This type of installation in Australia and New Zealand will usually consist of two core and earth TPS 1.5 millimeter which means thermoplastic sheathed cable and the inside active neutral and earth conductors are also individually insulated. The twin active cable has two active colors, red and white, and are also 1.5 millimeters to complete the two-way circuit between switch number one and switch number two. If the house is looped at the switch, like this installation, that means you have a active neutral and earth at each switch and always have power here until it's turned off at your switchboard. At the start of the circuit, the red active is called a hard active and that's because it always has power on it unless it's isolated from the switchboard. The hard active will go into the common of switch number one and join with another active that goes over to switch number two. Um, and it'll go into a connector. I'll explain that in a second. The twin active cable links to two switches using terminals one and terminals two at each switch. It doesn't matter if you use the red or the white to link one and two. And I mean by that, you can link the number ones with the red or the number ones with the white. It doesn't matter what colors you use um, as long as they correspond at the other end. Going back to this hard active, it does not go into the common because that's where the active from the light goes. If this is the end of the circuit, which means there is no other switches after switch number two, the hard active will go into a connector. But if there is other switches after switch number two, this active neutral and earth will join with another two core and earth cable and go to the next part of the circuit to another switch. The neutral and earth from the switchboard just come to each switch and daisy chain and then from the corresponding switch up to the light. You might find the neutrals in the looping terminals which is fine but I do prefer to join the neutrals in a connector because it provides a much better connection. The earth will either be in a connector or soldered and taped back to the TPS. Um, that's also normal. These are the terminals on the light, active and neutral. It doesn't matter which one you use for active or neutral on a baton holder. Uh, your earth is clearly labelled and the looping terminal is just a dead terminal um, and this would be used as just to join cables as like a connector, pretty much acts as a connector and it would be used in the looping at the light method. Both of these switches are in the off position and the writing on the switch max is facing down. Internally on both of these switches, they are switching between the common and number two. If you were to turn one of the switches on, it would switch between common and number one, and the same applies at switch number two. 
So let's follow the circuit. I have both switches off. I apply my power from my switchboard. The light comes on. Why is the light come on? Turning the power on at the switchboard gives power to the hard active, which comes through to the common. Because the switch is in the off position, it will switch between common and two. It will flow from the common to the white active conductor over to switch number two, terminal two. Switching between common and number two, and then up to the light. And both switches are in the off position. If I was to turn switch number two on, it will switch between common and one, and the light will turn off, because the power stops at terminal two. If I was to come over to switch number one and turn that on, it's now switching between common and one. So we know the hard active comes through to the common, the switch is currently in the on position, so it's switching common to one. It will go through the red active conductor to one. This switch is on number switch number two is also turned on, so it'll flow up through the active to the light. That's it everyone. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to see more video content like this, please like the video, share it, subscribe. Um, thanks. Lights out.